Let's do a practice question on electromagnetism. So part A, define magnetic flux linkage. Now, this is the product of the magnetic flux, product of the magnetic flux and the number of turns and the number of turns. So remember, I'm just going to write this over here on the side, magnetic flux linkage is n times phi. You could also define it as n b a cos theta, but then afterwards you would need to define all of the individual terms. Okay, part two, we have a thin insulated wire that has a length l, and uh, this has then been turned into a coil with a mean radius r. So the number of turns can be determined using the circumference. As soon as we read circumference, we can just even write this over here, which is equal to 2 pi r. Write an equation for n in terms of l and r. So if the coil kind of looks like this with number of turns like so, and if the length of each individual coil is 2 pi r, and the length, the original length was, was longer before, let's say it was L, and then it turned into this coil. By dividing the two quantities, we could find the number of turns, so n will just be equal to the original length L divided by 2 pi r. Now we can show that the magnetic flux linkage for this coil is given by the following expression simply by using the fact that your flux linkage multiplied by the number of turns, which is your magnetic flux linkage, will be equal to n. Now phi is just BA. Now, in the previous part of the question, we've shown that n is actually equal to L over 2 pi r, and that's multiplied by b. And uh, we also have the area, which is pi r squared. And what we can do is a bit of cancellation. So what we get is L b r over 2, which is pretty much what they want us to prove. Okay, on to the next one, state Faraday's law of EM induction. So remember the induced EMF, so we can write this, the induced EMF is proportional to the rate of change. Loads of people forget the word rate, so I'm just going to underline it to the rate of change of magnetic flux linkage of magnetic flux linkage. Okay, next one, part two, a coil rotates in a uniform magnetic field. Figure 3.1 shows a variation of the magnetic flux linkage with time t. What we need to do is to sketch a graph to show the variation of the induced EMF across the ends of the coil with time t. Okay, well, what is the link, no pun intended, between magnetic flux linkage and EMF? Remember, the EMF is equal to the negative rate of magnetic flux linkage. So this will be the negative gradient of this graph. Just to help us with the uh, sketch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark some points where this will be zero. So you can see that the gradient here is flat. So at one, this will cross the x-axis. At two, it'll be a maximum. At three, as well, we're going to have it crossing the x-axis. And where else is the gradient flat? Will be here at five. Now. In the first bit between 0 and 1, the gradient is positive, therefore we want the negative gradient. So we're going to start uh, somewhere here in this part. And uh, we're going to cross the x-axis here, we're going to reach a maximum around here, then we're going to go down, and we're going to reach a maximum at 4 once again and cross through the x-axis and once again reach a maximum. Because this is a sketch, uh, we don't need to worry about any of the values as long as the peaks are in the correct position and it crosses the x-axis in the correct position as well. Okay, uh, figure 3.3 shows a diagram of a simple transformer. We have an AC power supply, a soft iron core, and some voltmeters over here. Explain how an electromotive force is induced across the ends of the 
secondary coil. So the crucial bit is that due to the AC current, so we can just say that due to the AC current in the primary coil, um, there is a changing or there's a changing magnetic flux linkage magnetic flux linkage now let's refer to the soft iron core as well which uh, is part of the diagram so i will include it in my answer and um, we can say that magnetic flux magnetic flux linkage is linked to the secondary coil by or via the uh, soft iron core. Okay, folks, hopefully this was useful. If you're revising electromagnetism, you need to have a look at this video, which will be around over here somewhere, in which I solve a lot of very important questions on electromagnetism. And this video is just over here.